Hello, I'm Sean Kenny, and I'm playing a little more Kerbal Space Program, and uh, decided to try and send a rescue mission to Duna to rescue our ill-fated explorers. Uh, what I did on this one is I uh, basically just added a few capsules to the, the basic, the same Cathane Rover design that I was using the, the previous video and uh, just added a few can landers on there to give it a little bit more space so that I'd be able to retrieve the Kerbals and bring them home. Now, in this case, I think I was doing a, a few few orbits to do the, the burnout to, uh, to Duna. Uh, just splitting that up, taking advantage of the Oberth effect. And you see I was uh, ended up doing my burn, uh, or launching uh, pretty early, I guess I could, you know, you check the map and make sure you're in a good position to, to launch before heading out, but uh, as it is now, they, you know, they don't really take oxygen or food supplies, so you can just sort of have them sit in interplanetary space for a better portion of a year while you wait for the orbits to line up to do your final burn. So I was, uh, did that, uh, just doing the final burn, slowing down to Duna, trying to, uh, line up and, uh, and rescue our, our initial craft. Now, uh, I was actually pretty lucky, got a, a fairly, fairly good orbit. Uh, what I need to do here, though, is wait until uh, the landing site was back in daylight. Is uh, I didn't want to attempt uh, any night landings anymore, <laughs> just making it too hard. So here I was uh, just trying to line up my orbit with uh, with where they're going to be. Uh, see, I had to make a few adjustments. What I wanted to do was was basically orbit over top them and when you get sort of really close, that's when you want to um, kill most of your velocity so that you start coming down. So this was the, the final approach here. Uh, and what you might notice is uh, I ended up hitting a little, little quick there. Uh, I ended up killing a bit of speed. Uh, hopefully Try not to come down too fast, but ended up coming down just fast enough to break us apart a little bit. Although we all survived, now this has turned into quite <laughs> a real oper a rescue operation. So we have two groups of Kerbals now stranded on Duna. Uh, the other group, as you can see, wasn't too far, but. 30 kilometers or so away, so it's, uh, or actually 13, uh, more or less, it was a bit, they weren't too far apart, but far enough that uh, I really didn't feel like walking. So, it's back to the drawing board, um, I decided to put, uh, just two capsules on there to, to give it the, enough space to go and grab everybody, and, uh, this was, this was it. this was going to be it. We we had to do it on this one because uh, I was starting to get a, a bad habit of stranding criminals on Duna, and <laughs> I didn't really want to just be continuously running missions trying to rescue them. So uh, here, once again, I uh, did several orbits trying to uh, to get out to interplanetary space. Uh, Trying to maximize my fuel. Uh, unfortunately, uh, during this phase, uh, at some point here, I had an encounter with Duna, or sorry, the Moon, uh, the Mun, and rather than be smart about it, I try and burn through and get through quicker. Uh, all I really ended up doing was burning a lot of fuel and having this really close near miss here. Uh, as you can see, just sort of skimmed right out over the surface of the moon. So, while well, it did kick me out to an interplanetary orbit, it, it was it was not really the most efficient way to go about doing it. Um, thankfully, I did design with a, a 
um, bit of fuel, you know, reserve in mind. So, uh, at the end of the day, it, it didn't hurt us uh, all that much. Although it, uh, we ended up having to do a bit more of the translation on the fuel on the rover itself, but, you know, it's not that big of a deal. The other thing I did, I did modify this design in that I added a couple arrow spikes to the bottom of the side two tanks. So that's going to give us a little bit more thrust when, when we need it. Uh, I was just finding, coming down and doing like the, the weight of our rocket, with the four nuclear engines, it just really wasn't quite enough. So I did add a couple arrow spikes uh, to give us a little more kick when we need it. Uh, I try to do most of the orbital translations on the nuclear engines. Um, so at this point, I was uh, really have, you know, not sure about actually landing at the target site. Um, the orbit we came in was, was definitely off, so what I decided to do is try and go for a, a nice easy cathane field, so at least that I'd be able to, to fuel up. Um, so I was doing a little bit of fuel transferring there, trying to transfer some fuel into the side tank so I could get those aero spikes working. Uh, we got a little bit, um, they ran out pretty quickly, uh, but it, it did seem to be enough to, to get us slowed down. I also added more parachutes, and uh, this definitely helped in uh, allowing us to to finally get to Duna and land safely. Spoilers, <laughs> but you know, at some point we actually have to to land safely on this planet, right? So thankfully, I uh, was able to land safely. We're on a cathane field, uh, so I, I went about and uh, deployed the drills, started converting it into liquid fuel, just basically making sure all my tanks were filled up. Uh, unfortunately, I did lose the footage where I ended up having to make sort of a partial burn. I sort of basically tried to get into orbit, um, although it was more like a half orbit, um, fly halfway around the planet, and then land near clo uh, near to my other landing sites uh, and then at which point I had to drive um, yeah, about 30 kilometers to each of the uh, you know about they were separated by about 10 15 kilometers so I had to and then I landed uh, about that far away from the first landing site so so a lot of flying or driving along the, the surface of Duna and um, at this point I just picked up all the other Kerbals and uh, was mining, filling up our fuel tanks ready to go. I pretty much took all our fuel just to do that one hop from one part of the planet to the other. Uh, it's, it is a shame I lost that video. Um, I was playing, been playing around with different qualities trying to see what what works well. Uh, as you see, this one's a, a little bit higher quality video than my previous ones, uh, where I'm doing a lot of time acceleration. So, yeah, I mean, we're, we're talking about, you know, three, four hours worth of <laughs> game session here, uh, trying to condense it down so that uh, it's a, a little watchable YouTube clip. But managed to do it. I uh, was able to... Basically what I did was uh, I filled up... Um, on the cathane, converted everything into the fuel, um, then top back up on cathane. Um, during the transit here, was able to convert that cathane fuel back into liquid fuel. Uh, pretty much just help as booster, um, as far as getting off Duna. Uh, but uh, as you can see, we're coming in now. I did have, I was getting low on fuel. I was pretty much down to the fuel just in the four tanks that the nuclear engines are on. So while I did have some fuel to sort of play around with on my orbit, I did decide to try and capture a bit of um, aero braking. Um, what I've done is uh, set that periapsis to about 41 kilometers. Um, so we're, we're, we're dipping down through the, the upper atmosphere and uh, each pass is slowing us down some. Um, 
it was taking quite a while, it did several passes, uh, but as you can see, each time it was sort of shrinking the orbit. Uh, at this point, then I just decided to start burning. I, I left those solar panels out just for the simple fact that they were going to break off. I, you know, hey, I like seeing it. It's a great effect. <laughs> a little bit of distraction is always fun. Uh, so at this point, I had um, separated the 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 stack separators for the two side capsules, uh, hoping that they would sort of drift back behind the heavier rover, and uh, they'd be free from any you know weird debris or anything. Uh, I did forget I was was burning at the time, so once I stopped burning, um, I basically got rid of all the fuel. That what my tension started to happen uh, that the first capsule started to pull away um, unfortunately what happens is is once you uh, deploy your shoots and then repack them uh, I, I did sort of you know I went and separated them all out into a separate stage uh, so that as I was re-entering the atmosphere you can press spacebar and you know the the parachutes coming back down uh, into the active stage uh, unfortunately they weren't activating so what you had to do is actually right click manual on each parachute and deploy it while I was sort of up out of the atmosphere um, so that they'd all deploy as soon as I did hit the atmosphere uh, obviously I, I forgot one there the one capsule it was sort of hanging out pretty close so I decided to to separate off the uh, the heavier bottom stage there. Uh, what you're seeing here, this was basically my intention for the return module, um, if we didn't have to do actually any rescuing. Uh, you know, once you used all the fuel off the rover itself, then I'd be just down to those four tanks and the RCS. Uh, and then even once I was down on, uh, used all the uh, fuel in the nuclear engines, uh, the RCS would give me a uh, a fair amount of delta V, especially if it was just sort of the final uh, descent or um, deceleration into Kerbin. So I, I do like having that sort of larger tank of, of RCS because that does give you options in the, the final stage. So I'm kind of thinking we, we may have enough fuel to, to start looking whether this rover could, say, go to further to Jewel or Drez. Or maybe what you could do is is land at some you know maybe land at Midmus, fuel up, um, and then or or Duna for that matter. Maybe what I was thinking was heading to Duna, um, landing on its moon, Ike, and then uh, and gathering up some caffeine, refueling. Then maybe from there we'd be able to do a a hop to Drez or Jewel. Um, always an option. But as you can see, everything, uh, our, our capsules landed safely, and surprisingly, even the rover landed safely. Um, I'm almost thinking the whole thing might have survived intact. Intact. So I gathered all the Kerbals that were rescued. Uh, Jeb's entirely thrilled to be off Duna at this point. And there's all our fellows returned safely home to Kerbin. Um, not exactly in the Kerbal Space Center, but yeah, you know, we have a plane, we'll have a bus sent over and pick these guys up. Rescue our heroes. So thanks for watching. So long for now.